Crack Up Comedy Festival presents Tete -a Tete in support of Care For. Please donate today. And now, your host, Colin Mockery. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you uh, very much for that overwhelming virtual standing ovation. Um, well, uh, please welcome. We're going to have a fun uh, night tonight. Um, the game is called Tete a Tete. Imagine Family Feud if there was no copyright laws. It's kind of like that. It may seem familiar to you, so you'll catch on. We have two families, one of comedians, one of the care for family, and they'll have kind of a feud to see who can get points it's pretty much the same as bumper stumpers <laughs> all right so um i'm wondering we have the, uh, the captains of each team of course uh the lovely patrick mckenna is um the captain of the comedians and of course the uh, lovely steve perry is um the care for captain um, so you two are going to be up first i'm just going to talk okay. i'm just going to talk a little bit first uh steve let's talk to you for a second you are the CEO of care for of course, we're all here for a bit of a laugh, but we're also here to raise money for care for so um, people should probably know who you are. So tell us a little bit, uh, a little bit about care for. Well, thanks for the opportunity, Colin uh, care for is a not for profit charitable organization that delivers programs and services pretty much right across uh, eastern Ontario. We do things like provide in-home nursing, personal support services, therapies in people's homes. Uh, also do uh, day programs and respite programs for individuals uh, living with dementia, non-urgent medical transportation, retirement care residences, palliative hospice, end of life programs, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much soup to nuts. And uh, our business is taking care of uh, seniors and vulnerable individuals who uh, really are trying to live their best lives. So that's that's our mission uh, as an organization and uh, what we do every day. Uh, well, uh, thank you for what you do. That is amazing. And uh, just plain thank you. Uh, Patrick, so you're an actor. I have nothing. I Compared know. to that, I have nothing. <laughs> I, I probably should have gone with you first. I, you know, I... Uh, I talk to myself all day, you know, I, I don't do a lot. I, uh, Patrick is I'm being really... very modest, still the only actor to ever uh, win an award for best comedic performance and best dramatic performance in the same year. So you have more than just the pretty face, my friend. Well, oh, I'll, 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 I'll go with the pretty face thing. That's even good. But uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to be helping out with uh, the Eastern Bloc of Ontario because I have uh, my son lives up in Pembroke. So I see how these cities could uh, benefit from these type of things and what the uh, the services that are limited to the uh, the outskirts of Ottawa. So thank you very much for that, Gary. For it, really appreciate it. All right. It seems like the sucking up has started early. <laughs> um, what do you say we get to our first uh, category? Captains, are you ready? Okay. When you hear the question, once the question is ended, then you use whatever sound you have to, um, of course, uh, buzz in. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Name a reason you might wake up at 2 a.m. Steve. Oh, Steve, that one, you were in there like a dirty shirt. All right. <laughs> Name a reason you may be up at 2 a.m. To go to the washroom. Go to the washroom. People of a certain age certainly know that. That's number one. Well done, Steve. All right, you now have the option whether to keep the board or whether to pass. When you have the chance to play offense, you play offense. So we're going we're gonna to keep it. Obviously, yeah. there's a lot of bitterness up against the comedians. You've obviously had bad experiences with funny people in your life. <laughs> but you're going to go uh, and keep it. And remember, uh, if you get three buzzes, the challenge passes over to your opponents. Um, so, oh, so that, that's you. So, well, I, I guess we go to Joe now, right, Joe? Oh, 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 okay. So I'm going to say baby crying. Baby crying oh, is good baby one. crying there. Good one. <laughs> yes, a baby Woo. or a child. Sometimes a child is an older baby. <laughs> Just for people trying to follow at home. All right, uh, Robin. 
the lovely Robin. Is... Yes, hi, Colin. Oh, hi, sorry to wake you. Um, <laughs> we um, we are playing a game. It's very important you stay focused, Robin. I you know you have problems. With Here, I promise. All right, Arif, you may be up at two a.m. Um, I was thinking you heard a noise. You heard ah, a good noise. Answer. Yep, okay. Good answer. All right. That sounded not as enthusiastic as I need, guys. Come on. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Oh, they had to really uh, deliberate because uh, you said hear a noise. They had it in the past tense. So our judges are very particular. <laughs> All right. Um, who, oh, Carolyn, the secret oh. weapon they talk about constantly. <laughs> what is a reason you would wake up at 2 a.m.? Uh, well, right now it would be a toddler, but that's already been taken right now. Yeah. Um, and also, I'm pregnant with my second one coming, so bathroom is another option, but I'm going to All right, let me just, uh, there's also heard noise, so I, you have to come up with something different. I know, right? So, go I don't care, I don't care if you're <laughs> thinking for two. <laughs> I'm going to go with hunger, because... Oh, wake hungry. up, you're hungry, the those answer. middle the of the night answer. hunger pangs. Oh. Is hunger up there? Oh, oh, and they buzzed a pregnant woman. That's the way games work. <laughs> All right, uh, Lee, I believe you're up next. Yeah, let's go with uh, the dogs barking, so you got to take them out. The dogs oh, barking. Good answer. Good answer. All right, good is good dog answer. barking up there? Oh, oh, that seems to be a surprise for everyone oh. except the judges. <laughs> Hold on. You're, I know you're excited. You you have to save this team. There is uh, five <laughs> answers left. Come on, Oma. <laughs> you, you got this, Oma? Um, you got it? Let's, let's say you had a really bad nightmare. Oh, a nightmare. Yeah. Good okay. answer. Yeah. Nightmare. Oh, yeah. Hala gives him in. All right. all right, we go back to Steve, Mr. Competitive. <laughs> um, all right, Steve, what would keep you up at 2 a.m.? Um, thinking about work. Thinking Ooh, about work. Good answer. Ah, good answer. Good answer. There you go. Good answer. Oh, yeah. All right. Well done. You're still in the game. Remember, you just get one more wrong. It goes to the other team. That's what you call building tension. All right, uh, Joe. There's so much pressure. Oh, it's going to um, get worse. <laughs> I'm going to go with, and this, this hasn't happened lately, but you might be partying. Oh, oh good That will get you up at two because you realize there's a party. No, you're still, you haven't gone you're to bed. You're still partying. You're in the oh. mood. Oh, that's, that's a party that's in the, the bedroom. Party. I didn't realize in Ottawa, partying had a different meaning. <laughs> I didn't either. Oh. <laughs> From the two men surveyed. I guess Carolyn should have come up with that answer, really. Um, all right. What is pregnant? Um, uh, who are we up to now? Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure? Um, sure. It's just a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Robin. Come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. I would, uh, what would, uh, get you up at 2 a.m.? Um, I think like you need a drink of water. Yeah. You need a drink of water. Good a very answer. popular yeah. one. Not hunger. Thirst. No, it's totally different. Oh, oh. oh, here we go, team. Now we're on board. Here we go. All right. Uh, why don't you pet her, um, Patrick, with some ideas as to what it is that would keep you up at 2 a.m.? Anybody got any ideas? Bur burglar. Robbery. Oh, oh, insomnia. Smell smoke. Bur Acid reflux. I know. All stomach right. flu. <laughs> Maybe ask some of the younger people. <laughs> I heard burglar. Um, does anybody think car alarm? Sorry. Yes. Insomnia, just straight up insomnia. Insomnia. Smell smoke. Smoke alarm. Smoke. Did you say smoke? Okay, smoke alarm. We'll go with smoke alarm. We're gonna go with smoke alarm. Okay, so I gotta say a lot of great answers. I'm so glad I was not the captain and to pick one and alienate my fellow. Smoke alarm. Oh. Well, let's see. What was number five? That was covered by In the Mood. <laughs> 90 points goes over to Care Part. What was number five? Woo! Too hot oh, for cold. Yeah. And number seven. 
menopause. It doesn't grow. It's 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 so everybody so would sleep beautiful. through an alarm. That's awesomely scary yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Forget the dogs. Oh, Forget um, the alarms. As you can see, Care for has jumped into the lead uh, oh, with, uh, points. I'm not going to really keep the <laughs> arcs. I've got too many things going on. Uh, round two. This is the round we call round two. It comes after one, and uh, we have uh, Joe and Jennifer. Yay! So, uh, I'll talk to them uh, first. Hello. Joe. Hi. Hey. Joe. Oh, oh, no. I'm going to ask you. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. We should have rehearsed. Oh. <laughs> right. Joe, I'd like to ask you a question. Are you around? Um, many of the people on the Care4 team are um, staff uh, with programs that work with people who are living with dementia. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of those programs? Uh, yes, yeah, so thanks, Colin. Uh, Pre-pandemic, uh, normally these people would uh, meet to socialize, play games, do activities, all which really help in um, just uh, you know, uh, slowing the progression of their disease and also aiding their care partners. Mm -hmm. And since the pandemic, we've been meeting virtually, uh, doing those same things to support them as much as we can possibly do. Oh, excellent. Well done. Thank you. And uh, Jennifer, of course, Jennifer, actress, producer, uh, Once again, you how do you you can't follow up to that. I'm just in awe of everything that you guys do. So this is amazing, and I'm so happy to be of the. <laughs> yeah, if you put a sentence with bus uh, burning and orphans, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be here and happy to support. So thank you guys so much. This is great. Excellent. All right, Jennifer and Joe, you are up at the virtual podium, and I'm ready. And Woo! whoever put that question up before, before I was ready, is I fine. didn't read it. <laughs> I didn't read it either. Okay. All right. I'm slow. So here is the round two category. Name a reason a person might be running. Oh, this is oh. not working. Oh, I think it was Jennifer. I'm just going to say it was Jennifer. It was very close. You but lighting up, but I don't think you could hear it. I could, I could hear it because I have the ears of a beagle. Um, <laughs> So why would a person be running? You're being chased. Being chased, says Jennifer. Although her um, team doesn't seem to support her in any way. It's a great answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yes. Being chased. Oh, number five. Oh, it does, I have to, uh, I'm a little surprised it's that low. Um, I know. So, Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say for exercise. Ooh, for exercise. Yes. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. Sorry, guys. Not the reason why I would. Woo! Exercise. Oh. Oh. All right, Joe. Good job. I wouldn't even run when I was being. No, that's not right. Yeah. See, comedians have no <laughs> idea what that word means. No, no <laughs> I, I don't run unless a bear is chasing me. So. Right. <laughs> so, Joe, uh, you can keep or pass. Oh, I'm gonna keep it. Let's go, Thank team. You. Care for. <laughs> All right, Care4 is on a run. All right, uh, Robin, you're up next. <laughs> I Robin. Think, yeah, I think maybe somebody, if they're playing like sports, some ah, type of sport. A, a sport that includes running. Yeah. Then they would run. I think you're yeah. absolutely right. Let's see how that goes. Oh, oh, come I on. guess they put that under the exercise area. Yeah. I really don't know. Don't blame me. I just read things. <laughs> now, uh, Carolyn. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, chasing your kids. So you're, you're chasing kind of your kids. Yeah, Good kind of answer. All right. Answer. Carolyn says chasing your kids. Yeah. Woo. Oops. This is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, we did have to and escape. It, uh, catch someone does fulfill the whatever's say going on here. Name All right. I uh, was able to catch their kids. That's not true. That's no. Not true. <laughs> uh, Lee. Yep, since we're in Ottawa, let's go with uh, chasing the OC transfer bus. <laughs> All right, chasing the bus. Good answer. Yeah! Oh, oh, yes, well done. All right, still two answers up there on the board. Now we're going to the person who saved your bacon last time. Oma. 
<laughs> Ooh, <laughs> this is a tough one. Hmm. Um, I would have first be running. <laughs> Why would anybody ever want to run? Is the question. <laughs> <laughs> the question. Maybe they have to go to the bathroom real bad. <laughs> have to go to the bathroom real bad. I feel that's going to fit in many categories tonight. <laughs> yep. Going to the bathroom. Get somewhere. Get somewhere. Get somewhere. Perfect. Our judges have been drinking since 3 a.m. this morning. <laughs> All right, there's one answer left. We go back to Steve. Steve, why would someone be running? Um, I've got two great answers, I think. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you're not the judge of that. <laughs> I think I'll say because they're in a race. Because they're in a race. Oh, good answer. They're good answer. in a race. Good answer. Are they in a race? Oh. Oh. They are not oh. in a race. Oh, that's. <laughs> I guess one of those answers was not as great as we thought, Steve. Can, can I change my <laughs> mind and give the other one? Humility. Can I do the other one? Nope. <laughs> can you pass it to me? Joe. I know right now you're texting Steve. What no, is your other great answer? Wait. I, I have no devices. Oh. I don't like cheating. Um, okay, so why am I running? I don't, I've already peed, I've already exercised. Oh, I love the method way you're asking the question. <laughs> I'm gonna just say you're in a hurry. You're in a hurry. Simple yeah, to the point. Yeah. Has Joe got it right? Yeah, Is it no, because you're in a hurry? <laughs> Oh, 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 you can feel <laughs> disappointment <laughs> ooze out of right. every pair of coming members. Back. Patrick, um, talk to your team. I know. Any any ideas, guys? You're late. You're late. Caught on fire. Running Caught on late? fire. You're late. Late. Caught on fire. You want Caught people on fire is very good. I don't I, want to I go with John anything. and running late. <laughs> I think uh, running oh, late because you're on be, fire. Because you're on yeah. fire. <laughs> want to be a member of parliament. They want people to vote for you. That's, uh, let's go, let's go, uh, what was that one uh, being chased? No, that was, that's up there. I've already seen it, it's the worst, worst one, worst one. <laughs> uh, how about crossing a street? What? Yeah. <laughs> we were saying running late. Running late. Running late, thank you, I couldn't remember. <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> All right. Running, it's always a bad sign when you say something and one of your team members goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by Ritalin. <laughs> All right, here is the comedian's answer. Running late. You're running late. Oh. You're not the judge of us. Seriously? Oh. I'm afraid they are the judge of you. Um, what is number six? Oh. Oh, oh, oh no. law. The yeah. ever popular. Crossing the street, I guess, would have oh. worked in that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, Care for <laughs> is in the lead 182. Woo! Nothing. The comedians do not despair. Why bother? <laughs> All right, um, we're up to uh, who? Who now? Carolyn and no, Robin and David. Yes, come on, David. Right. Come on, David. Robin, come on, Robin. Robin. I'm going to talk to them first. Don't put up the category. <laughs> come on, David. Come on, Robin. Yes. Uh, you're the director of uh, the programs we're raising money for today. Now, where's the money going to go, and why should anyone donate? Yeah, that's right. Thank you for asking, Colin. Um, you know, obviously there, we've had a lot of challenges with having uh, COVID in front of us, like everyone, uh, but trying to provide our services to people living with dementia who used to come in person and now are virtual. So all the money will go to help us continue to do our virtual programming because that's new for us. Um, and it's working, you know, quite well and people are really appreciating it. So it's something to do when they're in their home. Um, and it really helps the caregivers to have some activities and some different things. And they miss seeing their friends as well. Um, so all the money will go to support our adult day programs to be able to sustain and stay open and continue to provide virtual programming for people living with dementia. Good answer. <laughs> all right, now let's talk to a worthless comedian. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. David, okay. very funny man, writer, uh, you do other stuff. You produce, don't you? Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, Colin, you said you, you brought up a memory. We did a pilot for a game show like 10 years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. This okay. one's going better, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, um, it was uh, two Israeli fellows came up with this idea. Yeah, yeah. And it, uh, I think lunch was great. 
Well, lunch was very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was it. They closed the set, and that was the last we heard anything or saw anybody. So this, this, uh, is nice. anything, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. Anything upcoming, David? Uh, no, not really. You know, uh, Just for Laughs came to Ottawa and recorded an album with a bunch of stand ups here, and I got to be part of that when we were open in the clubs. But uh, no, it looks like we're kind of shut back down again. I'm making my wife lunch every day because she works from home. Oh. <laughs> Oh, good man, good man. Nice. That's, that's worth 35 points to the comedian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, way to bring us down. All right. Um, we're into um, round three, I believe. So here is the category. Remember, uh, David and Robin, make your sounds after you hear this. <laughs> Name, you have to wait till I say it. Name something you would eat that would roll away if you dropped it on the floor. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I heard David in a, such a sad way. <laughs> what is something that would roll on the floor once you dropped it? A grape. A grape. Good answer, buddy. Obviously, you've had some experience. Grape. <laughs> oh. 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 All yeah. right. Well, Robin, there's two answers that's better than that. If you get that, you will keep control of the board. Right. Say brick and cheese. I'm going to say a ball. Yes. A yes, ball. Yes. Makes sense. Ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I love ball. these judges. Remember, we're eating this stuff, Robin. Let's <laughs> just remember. I did I did not remember that clearly, but thank you. <laughs> this, this, this is a fundraiser. We're just having fun. <laughs> When does the fun start for us then? Yeah. The answers are all just, it's all in fun. All right. Um, a brick cheese. Yeah, there you go. Meatball. Yeah. I think that happens every day, right? All right, Carolyn. Something that would roll if you dropped it on the floor. Well, I'm going to go with a Timbit because we're Canadian. Oh, all nice. Right. nice Good Canadian answer. Animal. Roll a Timbit. <laughs> Oh, come on! I'm surprised they didn't have hockey player up there. And just <laughs> all right, uh, Lee. That was a tough one. I don't know much who the rolls around, but let's go with the uh, wheel of cheese. A wheel. Ooh, good think wheel what of rolls? Cheese. Wheels roll. Yeah. What has, kind of food? Thanks, stuff? Roma. A wheel of cheese. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Actually, well, no one is next. less shocked than me. Um, we're on now to Homa. All right, you've got this, I feel. Um, what is something that would roll away once you drop it? Maybe an apple? Maybe an apple or an apple. Let's see. Apple! <laughs> yes! Woo! There you go. Homa. You just have to be positive. Um, of course, uh, people don't know that is, of course, the meat apple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, back to Steve. Steve, you've had many good answers, some of which have actually worked. What is <laughs> your answer for this? Something that may roll if it falls onto the floor. Okay, this happens all the time, so golf ball has to be up there. A golf ball, I hear you. Golf ball. What? Uh, How can that not be up there? Golf ball has to be here will not be a catchphrase. All right. Comedians. All right. Great. I have Orange. a ball. M and M. Orange. What about a, a penny fruit. or a coin? Bagel. It's, it's something that you eat, it says. The answer the question was it's something that you eat if you it will roll away if you drop it on the floor. Oh, Gumball. I stopped eating golf balls when I was five. I know. <laughs> so, hot dog? Would a hot dog roll away? Well, uh, an orange or an apple, or I mean, an orange or a grapefruit. Or, or orange, orange, probably. Yeah, orange. orange. I whip Taz for an orange. Bagel. We have two oranges. oranges. We're going orange. orange. I guess we're going orange. Be popular. orange. All right, Patrick has listened to his team. They implored orange. Is there orange? Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh orange. Well done, comedians. You're finally on the board. Uh, there you go. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound sound that as uh, judgmental as I meant to. Um, <laughs> what is the number two answer? Well, number peas. Oh, oh. Yeah. Peas. You know how your, your peas fall and roll. Uh, number five. 
Yeah, yeah. Andy. I'm balling. Yeah, how come you didn't get that? Yeah, really, yeah, Jen. Sorry, been there. I know. And uh, the number six answer, something you eat that rolls when you drop it on the floor. Hey. Egg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. An, oh, an egg would roll. Well, it has to be a hard boiled, I hard guess. Hard boiled? It would waddle. Clearly, clearly, I forgot about the food part of this question. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, or you should probably call a doctor. Well, can I just say, someone That's said ball, doctor. and it turned into meatball. So you, you, you were fine. It could have yeah. worked out. I'm glad I didn't say roll of toilet paper then. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't fight. All right. Up next, we have uh, Carolyn and Jessica. Uh, Carolyn, um, you okay. run one of the online programs uh, Robin was talking about earlier. It's for people with young onset dementia. Uh, tell us more about that. Yes, Colin. Um, so I am very fortunate to be working with CareForce uh, Young Onset Club, which is designed for people that have been diagnosed with dementia, dementia. under the age of five. Uh, now, typically when people think of dementia, you might think it's somebody who's very frail, somebody who maybe is in their 80s or 90s, but I'm working with people that are more in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and with that comes unique challenges, but also uh, different interests. They have different pop culture interests, different music. Uh, they're also generally much more physically fit. Uh, so when they were coming to our traditional day programs, they didn't really feel as though they belonged. So care for was really good and um, started this program as one of the first ones in Ottawa and uh, made a partnership with Carleton University where we would spend our day um, at the university on campus amongst all the, the, uh, the students and we would be doing things like swimming, going to fitness classes, playing sports, that kind of thing, even, even um, in, sitting in on some classes and things like that. Now, of course, because of the pandemic, we've had to pivot and now we're, we're meeting up online. Uh, so we meet a couple of times a week, three times a week of uh, doing virtual activities such as listening to music, laughing together, doing trivia, that kind of thing. We've really built a, a little family and they feel, finally feel like they have a place where they belong with their own peers that are also battling this uh, diagnosis. That's lovely. Uh, I mean, you guys are just doing amazing things, so thank you. And uh, Jessica. Yeah, uh, listen, Jessica, I'd like to sign up for the program. How can I? Uh, how can After I the pandemic, come join us. We'd love to have you. <laughs> I feel every time I see you, it's because we're we're working at a, a fundraiser for some cause or something. Well, but can I share with everyone? The last time I did a fundraiser with Colin, uh, he sat at my book table. I was selling books after the show, and Colin signed copies of my book. <laughs> it was a very effective friendship. <laughs> He's, uh, he's good and he's cheap. He's just- oh, God knows that. Uh, do you have anything uh, coming up we can uh, look forward to? Uh, I have a series on CBC Gem called The Communist Daughter. That's been fun. Yeah. And then I'm also just doing a lot of these uh, Zoom shows. And what I like about them is you only have to keep this much of your life um, productive. <laughs> like the rest of the house looks like a tornado hit a garage sale. But right <laughs> in my little cube, everything makes sense here. Well done. <laughs> That's a good tip for you Zoom people out there. All right. We're up uh, at some round. Round four, I believe. Uh, people are keeping score. And if you are, maybe go outside and take a breath of air just for a second. <laughs> and come back in. So here is this category. Name a perk about working from home. Oh, the squeaky uh, oh. dog apparently got it first. Jessica, what's a perk about? Uh, every day is pajama day. Yeah. Every day is pajama day. <laughs> you never have to put on pants. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Never have to put yeah. on pants. I'm wearing pants now. Yes. Of course. No Nudity. Why? Uh, I, I, I think no clothes is very general, just to let you know. Can I remind you of meatball? <laughs> <laughs> I just meant in general, if you're not wearing any clothes, you still, you know, you probably should be wearing I got you. So Jessica, are you uh, keeping or passing? You know what? I think we got to go for it. We got to shine here, comedians. Let's yes. All right. Good answer. Jessica, I like your pluck. All right. John. Can you say that these days? Yeah, I, I'm still allowed to say that, I believe. <laughs> uh, John Wing, who, can I just say, big fan. I grew up watching you. Um, <laughs> so, what, um, what that doesn't say, add up there, Paul. What is a perk of being um, uh, working from home? Perk of working from home. Uh, yeah. Snack time all day. 
<laughs> yes. yes. Amen. This is not the question to ask comedians. Nap time all snack. day. Snack time. Oh, snack time. Sorry. Snack time. <laughs> what? Is meatball up there? It, it was, meatball was up there. That's, that's what the, <laughs> the confirmation was about. All right, uh, Taz. Yes, sir. It looks like... Um, well, you've got you. There's a lot of stuff there. There's let's face it. There's like seven answers you can come up with. No, no pressure, right? Uh, yeah. You're never late for work. Never late for work. You're always on time. That's what never late me. <laughs> <laughs> Flexible hours. Well done. Nicely done. All right, we're back to Captain Pat. I'm thinking uh, no daycare costs. No daycare costs. Interesting. We'll see how interesting, but we'll, we'll look on. <laughs> Is there no daycare costs? Well done. See family. Well, that's our meatball, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Is no, that family? No daycare. See family. All right. Um, <laughs> Jennifer, me, Jen, yes. you got this, Jen. Oh, do um, I? These are all good ones. So I was going to say flexible hours. It's like sleeping in would be like to the last minute, the afternoon yeah. meeting. Um, okay, let's go. This. I got this. This is pressure. Only one X, right? Um, I'm going to say you're saving money with like gas money. So you're, ah. you're saving money because you're not yeah. driving it's your car. Yeah. But you're not doing you're, things that are fun. You're not doing anything. Good. That's great. <laughs> All right. Saving money. Is that on the board? <laughs> what? Oh. Sorry, guys. Wow, no, that was a good answer. That was a good. That answer. was a good answer. I don't know what's going on here. Everyone's spending money I'm purposely. Just embarrassed, and now <laughs> it all comes down to David to keep it going. Oh, pressure's on. I'm David, feeling it. Got you got to David. It. <laughs> I uh, I haven't had a, a job in a long time, but I'm gonna <laughs> guess uh, the boss doesn't know what you're up to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Secret. Oh, oh boss, problem. good answer. Good a good answer. answer. It's a great answer. We'll well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> it is a great answer. Avoid it the boss. The boss. There you go. Well Tony done. Danza doesn't come to your house. Well done, David. Well, Jessica, it's back to you. Listen, uh, I think my pets like having me around. I think uh, you don't have to hire the dog walker. You can be with your animals. I'm just going to give a very vague meatballish answer. And I, I tell you, I think we've all learned something very special. <laughs> be as big as you can. Uh, something to do with maybe a dog or a cat. <laughs> An uh, animal exercising with your animal. <laughs> yeah, I protest that answer. <laughs> your answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fall within the dog cat gas. <laughs> I think emu is closer, but that's fine. All right. It's rigged. Maybe yeah, rigged. maybe it is. John, we're back to you. Oh, Nobody yeah. thought uh, this would happen. Torn between uh, no commute and afternoon delight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh what do you guys think? Should I go with which no one? no commute? No commute. <laughs> oh, no commute. Way to cover, Patrick. <laughs> Are you going no commute? No commute. No commute. Yes. There you go. Good. Wow. You can feel the tension grow as the answers count down. There's two answers left. Now we're back to Taz. Uh, I'm going to give a vague answer as well because it's awesome. No, that's probably not as good. Um, let's go with uh, let's let's go with uh, uh, you can eat whenever you want. How's that? Woohoo! Food right there. Yep. All right. Like nice general Go answer. John's shaking his head, but let's see. You can eat food whenever you want. Or afternoon delight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It goes over to care for. You can steal it if you come up with one of the answers. Why don't you bombard Steve with your ideas? Afternoon delight. <laughs> no makeup. <laughs> Listen to the pregnant woman. Oh. <laughs> Watch TV instead of working. What about what about environmental? What do you mean? <laughs> the environment is what we live in. Sometimes we try to leave a good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Longer oh, lunch hour. You don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to wear a mask. Oh. You don't have to have a shower in the morning. 
Well, you Mask should be. Bro. No makeup. Okay. What are we going to go with? No shower? Or? You decide. No is this like something. your morning meetings? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's worse. oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> okay. All right, Steve, we need an answer. Okay. Well, we'll go with no shower. No shower for your golf ball. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. that's, that's a bit of a stretch there. We'll take it. Okay. Good that's job. It. Okay. I've got like, well done. Uh, the judges are quite flexible. Like liberal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they, they are quite flexible. Earlier. I think they're care for employees. <laughs> room anytime. What is number five? Oh, boy, co workers. But we oh. like each other. Oh. Exactly. Oh. I, I think that would have fit better with don't take a shower. <laughs> Climate change is real. Well, as you can see, this is still a barn burner with the comedians only behind by 211. <laughs> 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 we know that it's just a number. The score is just a number. All right, we're going to round five. Uh, with uh, Lee and John Wing facing off each other. Lee, uh, I'm told you're a bit of an, uh, an exception on the team, uh, not only because of the beard. Um, you <laughs> work with a different program that supports Ottawa's homeless and people uh, dealing with addictions, right? That's right. So uh, we work in partnership with Ottawa Inner City Health and the local shelter. So some of you might know are like uh, Salvation Army, Shepherds of Good Hope, the Ottawa Mission. And what we do there is we provide care for clients that are homeless and suffering with addictions mostly. And what care for does is we actually provide the staff to, to make those operations work. Excellent. Shout out, shout out to all my team. If anyone's watching. Uh, no, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> all right. Um, and John, John wing. Oh, hi. Very funny. Um, uh, stand up. I've had the pleasure of seeing you perform many times. You're, you're, you're most kind. Uh, yeah. Um, are you, uh, do you have anything uh, coming up? Well, I, I haven't worked in a year. So all, all right. I've been able to do this year is I put out an album that I recorded in Ottawa a couple months before first lockdown. Mm -hmm. it's just out. It's called Oh Yeah, Right, Sorry. Uh, in the fall, I have two, <laughs> books, two books coming out. A novel called A Car to Die For and a book of poems called The Last Coherent Thing. They'll be out in the fall. And I've, I've done 49 episodes of a podcast called The Bad Piano Player Podcast, which is all right. on all your, you know, and, uh, uh, where, find podcast shops everywhere. Where can we find these things so people don't have to actually search? Oh, uh, Mosaic Press is putting out both of the books. They're, they're in... Uh, uh, they're in Mississauga, I think now, and um, uh, you can find the album on iTunes. Yep. Both my albums are on iTunes. Okay. Uh, and uh, the podcast is on Podtail and Buzzsprout and Spotify and Apple Podcasts, etc., etc., etc. Oh, it sounded like you were just making up stuff and lost interest. Sorry. <laughs> <that way through. laughs> All right. Well done. All right, uh, John and Lee. Here is, we asked 1,024 people <laughs> this. <laughs> Name a behavior a dog can get away with, but a human can't. Oh. Oh. Yes. I saw John shaking something. I'm guessing that's. I tried to make noise. I know. Um, what, what, what can a dog get away with that we can't? Pooping on the floor. Yes. Well, it depends where you live, but let's go with pooping <laughs> on the floor. Oh. That is the number. Who are we asking, hey. by the way? Yeah. All right, uh, John, are you going to uh, keep control or pass? Oh, I think we should keep control. Yeah, we should. How okay. much worse can it get? Yeah. All right, so um, we're on to uh, Taz. Hey, Taz. Well, that answers your question. How worse can it get? Right there. <laughs> no, I think you got this one. What's something a dog can do that we can't? Uh, I'm torn between uh, sniff somebody's butt or lick itself. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, lick itself in public. 
Lick <laughs> itself in public. That's it. And if that's not up there, yeah. Ah, please help uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, this is what we call the Oscar Wilde category. <laughs> Hey everyone, <laughs> to raise the tone of the evening a little, um, uh, Patrick, Captain Patrick, it's up to you now. Uh, something a dog can get away with, but we as poor humans cannot. And I know this for a fact because I tried it. Um, okay. Humping someone's leg. Humping someone's uh, leg. <laughs> oh, there we go. Humping. Afternoon delight. Delight. <laughs> We got sure. it in. in some provinces, we can still get away with humping, can we? Yeah. Get back. It's Winnipeg. You can do it in Winnipeg. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Jennifer. Uh, I got to okay. go. I'll be right back. Oh, boy. The pressure is on. Okay. I'm going to say not wear pants. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. A dog <laughs> actually true dog. cannot wear pants, and nobody okay. says a thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> we don't wear pants. It becomes a big thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> well, no, that's uh, the thing about being an animal. Man, that's, clothes? That's, Come on, dogs wear clothes, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's cute." Yeah, that's uh, that's <laughs> in my mind. Whatever. That that's unbelievable. All right, uh, David. Yes. Uh, we're um, forgetting about our uh, our Cujo uh, dogs, the mean ones. Uh, so, like biting and and scratching and hurting people. Good. Good answer. Good. All right. All the hidden aggression of the comedians coming out, biting, <laughs> hurting, doing something horrible. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice. And notice it says sketching, which is totally different <laughs> That's from poetry. many of the things That's that people do. If you've never been sketched, <laughs> it's just some old jazz guy comes up and he yells syllables at you. It's horrible. So what are you guys going to do? That's it. <laughs> Um, Jessica. Well, see, I'm Jessica. proud that we're doing well at this, but then it occurred to me, comedians and dogs have slightly similar lifestyles. <laughs> so <laughs> true. But you, you have a dog? Uh, sleeping all day. Sleeping all day. Oh, Good answer. answer. Not, Not having to do answer. anything. Sleeping yeah. all day. Or at night. <clears throat> what? Oh, I don't know dogs right. or comedians at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a quickly backtracking from her answer. Uh, All right, John. Uh, up to you to keep this uh, going. There's four answers you can come up with. Well, I own two dogs, so I should have some idea of this one. Well, uh, no, you're just building it up too much now. You should have said red cats. <laughs> I'm going to go with barking. Barking. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Let me yeah. Uh, hang on a second. People, they don't like it. <laughs> oh, he's taking a swing. All right. Wrong. Barking. Barking. Thank oh, you. Nicely done. <laughs> My answer was horrible. Sorry, guys. No, you know what? There are no horrible answers. That There's just some answers. Golf ball, that golf ball was a pretty horrible answer. Yeah, golf ball. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, yep, I have to agree. So, oh, Taz, we're back to you. Oh, I okay. Uh, smelling somebody's butt or crotch area. Brilliant. I'm Brilliant. So, you oh. mentioned that earlier, and I'm surprised it, it it's still in the running. So let's say uh, smelling <laughs> someone's butt. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I again. Not stop there. I am shocked. Well, care for you have a chance to um, sketch this from the comedians. <laughs> Begging for food. Tasty people. Begging your butt food. across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. How's that go again? Yeah, I think begging for food sounds good. I'm just thinking of my doc. Yeah, begging like that. Well, begging yeah. Food. What about what about drinking or eating without using your hands? No. Oh yeah, that's or a drinking out of the toilet. Getting into the garbage. Drinking out of the toilet. Drinking out of the toilet. Getting into the garbage yeah, too. Toilet's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. They drink no. toilet water. The butt scoop. Do we have an I'm pretty sure the butt drink is pretty bad though. Yeah. Don't the okay. This is only an hour long show, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to achieve consensus. <laughs> well, well, good answers. So, are we doing the butt scoot? Is that what I heard? Toilet, toilet yeah. water. No. Toilet water. Toilet water. Okay. Toilet so, water. Do dogs can get away with drinking out of toilets a weekend. Yeah. One of those things we really wish.
society would allow us to drink freely from a toilet. That whole discussion was such an interesting look into all of your psyches. Is drinking out of the toilet something we wish would happen? Oh, oh. you're going to be feel so bad if scratching oh. your ass across the floor shows up. <laughs> what is the number four answer? Oh, oh, stranger, oh, Carolyn yeah. said licking, but no one listened to her. Part Aww. of society's problems these days. <laughs> number five. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh window. Why can't I do that? I do that. No, we yeah, exactly. Do that. <laughs> we'll do that together, Robin. Yeah, let's just make fun of that answer for a while. Oh. And what is the last reason, the last thing dogs can do with... Uh, Eating stranger's food. Oh, well, now we've got a bit of a barn burner. And when I say barn burner, I mean only one side of the barn is burnt. <laughs> still three walls holding up the team. All right. Well done. Um, well done, comedians. You're back in the game. And now we're um, up to um, round six. So uh, we're at Homa and Taz. Homa, you're last up for care for. Obviously, <laughs> they've saved the best for last. Um, this is your last chance to get anyone who hasn't donated yet to do so. So give us your best pitch. All right. <laughs> well, dementia affects the whole family and there just aren't enough supports available, especially now um, as this pandemic continues. So many of our services uh, in the community have stopped. So our virtual programs have been this great initiative to go into people's homes and to be that lifeline that our families are looking for to help them to get through this. So please give generously today. It means the world to us and it means the world to our programs as well. How can yes. you know to that person there? All right, um, Taz, Taz, stand-up comedian, motivational speaker, and earlier we were talking about you read stories to children around the world? I do. I got a, a program called Tazzy Read Stuff, and, and uh, I started on March 18th, 2020, and uh, we had our one-year anniversary. Last night was uh, day 387, I think it was, and we read book uh, 802, but... Wow. Uh, I just want to thank the care for uh, group because my mom uh, had uh, early onset vascular dementia and it was very hard to watch her go from who I, I, I grew up in, and, and loved and, and uh, knew to, um, to, you know, and the dementia would ravage her. So I'm, I'm very glad and you should donate to care for because um, if I, I, I hope you never have to, uh, I hope you never have to live with somebody that has dementia and go through that because not only is it a great program for those that are, are living with dementia and, and things to get out, but it's also a break for the, uh, the family and the caregivers and a lot of caregivers feel, feel completely guilty when they need a break and they, and they, and they really do need a break. And, uh, a lot of times, <clears throat> a lot of times, uh, they, they'll, feel, they'll feel terrible and, and care for gives these these people uh, a, a chance to just go and have a bit of a breather and and and, and that's what that we need and I know when we were trying to care for mom and it got too, too much to for us to do that we felt felt terrible to have to uh, have her have her uh, cared for by others and and things and I, I I'm gonna share a couple of things with you uh, because uh, what are you gonna do silence me I uh, <laughs> somebody posted uh, this yesterday and I thought it was great and I wanted to share it with you um, their their grandmother was uh, was had uh, Alzheimer's and and that and and uh, the grandmother looked at the granddaughter and said and, and she goes oh I'm so glad you're here I've missed you and she goes grandma do you remember who I am and she said no but I know that I love you Aww. and that's great and and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a little my mom uh, got upset one day and I was in there and my mom had really good days and really bad days and and uh, there were days where she was lucid and days where she she you know i remember she her saying to me you're my son right and i went yeah she goes oh it makes me feel better that you know so much about me um, but you know uh a lot of times we'll talk about the patients like like they're not there so my mom i i was blessed to have my first uh my, my comedy now special on and she invited everybody in and there was a new nurse and there was an, a nurse that had been there for quite a while and the new nurse said to the older nurse well this lady is obviously uh crazy she thinks that guy on tv is her son and the new nurse said, well, you know, 
that that is Taz. That is your son. So please don't judge. But the the reason that uh, I was upset was because my mom told me that story, which meant that they were talking about her in front of her, like uh, like she was her illness instead of a person that had her illness. And mm -hmm. I said to mom, "Do you want me to say something?" She goes, "No, I fixed their red wagons because they didn't believe me." They, <laughs> and then I, that's my son. That's my son. That's my son. And, and they didn't believe me. I said, well, what did you do? She goes, then a commercial came on. And there was a female gymnast. And I looked right at the new nurse and went, that's my son. That's my son. That's my son. <laughs> and I said, what do they do? They, they give me more meds. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a lot of love for care for, and I, I appreciate it. So donate lots, right? Donate absolutely uh, as much as you can. Great. Thank you, Taz. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Taz, uh, for sharing that. I mean, we um, a lot of people have personal stories. In how uh, in dealing with dementia and you're right it's um, hard on the family also and it's great that there are people like care for around to sort of um, help ease uh, the pain so uh, thank you to um, all of you and now um, uh, back to this um, <laughs> round six <laughs> round six as we remember uh, we ended off at round five so Oma, Taz, we asked someone and they <laughs> gave their answer to this. <laughs> Name the most annoying thing other drivers do on the road. That was me. <laughs> I heard nothing from anywhere. That was that was uh, that was me going ha ha. That was a didn't you hear that? That was a. Oh yeah, I heard that. <laughs> that was me. Uh, and what was the question again? The annoying things that people drive uh, were driving on the road. Yeah. Uh, cut people off. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I cut people off. See, they can't show unless I say it again because uh, oh, okay, or being a game show host. Well, Homer, there's one answer better than that. Do you think you have that? How about not signaling? Not signaling. Yeah. That they is irritating. It oh. is. All right. Not <laughs> signaling. No. Oh. All right, Homer, are you going to keep or pass? We're gonna keep going. We can do this, Care for. You, you feel it. You know you have this. Unless, of course, Steve screws it up. Steve! <laughs> uh, um, gonna... Yeah. Is it my, is it my it, turn? It's your turn. Really? Yeah. How about cutting people off? <laughs> <laughs> How about um, honking their horn? Honking the unnatural honking. Is that up there? Honking your horn. Oh. Oh. Hey, Steve, oh, I know you've been really upset that all of your great answers have not shown up on the board. <laughs> I think I think it's a conspiracy theory here. Well, I think I we'll think, all I point back to me. Typing out your answers when you say them, so there you go. <laughs> all right, Joe. Oh, let's go with tailgating. Yes. Oh, yeah, good answer. Yes, good all answer. in too close. Is tailgating up there? Tailgating is up there. You've kept the team alive, Joe. Woo! Woo! I'm the worst sounding uh, announcer ever. Uh, um, Robin. Um, Colin, could you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to call a friend? <laughs> call for a food question. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Name something annoying that other drivers do on the road. Something annoying other drivers do on the road. Okay, so I don't know if this is totally on the road, but like take my parking space. Oh. All right. No, I, I know that we framed it in a question, so we're not really sure if you're finished or not. <laughs> but let's just say take my parking space. Good job, Robin. Good job. Oh. 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 Okay. You know it's bad when only one person from your team says good job. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that can't be on there. Well, I think we all know people didn't say it. <laughs> Fairly simple process, Steve. I want to recount. Well, <laughs> um, oh, Carolyn. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, running through a stoplight or a red light, like stop sign. Uh, running through a red light stop light stop sign. Yeah. <laughs> Not stopping. Good answer. Not Good stopping. Answer. Good answer. Oh, oh, I think we're all a little surprised Good by answer. that. Good but answer. comedians, you have a chance of taking this board. Something. Any, any ideas? Right. Patrick, what about something like littering? Talking on the phone. Oh, yeah. Texting. Oh, yeah. Texting and driving. Texting talking and driving. 
Texting right on. Through Zoom. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Picking nose. Picking a lot all the time. <laughs> makeup. Eating. Makeup. Makeup. Put makeup. Put your makeup on. It's annoying when people are doing it, right? right. Yeah, this true. is a time to come together. On the phone. On the phone. On the phone. On the phone. We're getting on the phone. We're phone, gonna phone, be on phone, the phone. phone. I like phone. Phone it is. Phone texting. Yep, yep. John likes phone, so to keep everyone happy, they're going phone. <laughs> is phone on yes. the phone? Oh. Oh. Now we got, that's it. What were the other answers? Driving too fast, hey, driving too Don't be slow. taking my job. I had the one thing. Something <laughs> in there saying, what are the other answers? Sorry, hey, buddy. what's the answer for number three? Meatball. <laughs> Speed. Speeding, yeah. Number four. Burn signal on. Too, Too slow. Oh, yeah. Number seven. But the opposite of speed. Loud uh, music. And the uh, last annoying thing drivers do on the road. Yeah. Yeah. How is that annoying? <laughs> <laughs> so you're annoyed it's not annoying enough? <laughs> all right we're going into round seven which is the bonus round everything up to this point means nothing because <laughs> all of the points have been doubled so even if you're behind if you get this you win if you're ahead you get this you win we've just wasted an hour of everyone's time <laughs> it was a competition and we'll keep going until we raise a million dollars. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the first group of round sevens. All right, so uh, we're back to Patrick and Steve. It's on. Patrick. It's on like Donkey Patrick. Kong. Here yeah, is the bonus first round question. Where does you <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe I heard a harmonica. Awesome. Okay, Patrick, where have you seen Colin Mock? I have uh, not had that many jobs. Wow. Uh, yeah. I'd say whose line is it anyway? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whose line is it anyway? Oh, so you have control or you can give away the board. I would, I'm gonna, you know what? Let's get risky, let's give it away. Oh, 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 oh no one expected that because who the hell can name stuff I've been on? <laughs> so let's don't, go. Don't no, around around around. Nice. <laughs> no, I've got to say good luck, people. Uh, <laughs> so, Joe. Job. Hey, Joe. Hi. I remember when we first met, you said, what a big fan you are of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I just love everything I've ever been in. What is, uh, uh, this hour has 22 minutes. This hour has 22 minutes. Yes. Right. Well done, Joe. Oh, you're Good job, welcome. Joe. Nice. All I right, Robin. <laughs> hey, Robin. Yes. Do you want me to repeat the question? Uh, no, I got the question, Colin. All right. <laughs> Where have you seen me? Yes. <laughs> with, with, have you done like Second City, maybe? <laughs> I'm not really allowed to answer because I know the answers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a loophole we haven't got past yet. Um, yeah. Uh, so I guess not. I guess I wasn't there. <laughs> so, I work for someone who looked like you. I, yeah, I know. It's uh, very odd. I, I feel I have some memories of there. Um, uh, Carolyn. Carolyn. Uh, isn't there a, uh, I just think you could make little Colin happy if you get this one right. <laughs> uh, and wasn't there a Netflix special that you did, uh, with, with, uh, with, with Brad? I feel like we're hitting and... the meatball kind of answer. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing, was there something on a television set? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I believe a Netflix special. Yeah, I would have been shocked if that came up. You know, if you guys need any help, I saw him, I saw him at a Tim's in Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lee. We know he wasn't on an Israeli-funded uh, <laughs> talk show thing. Yeah. Yeah. He did 20 minutes at Tim Hortons, but then he had to leave. Yeah. Like two minutes to spare. 
I think uh, the Drew Carey show a few times. All right. <laughs> well, let me just say I have been on that, so there is a chance. <laughs> Much better than a Netflix special. Is the Drew Carey show up there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so John Wing just gave them an answer. Sorry, <laughs> right, guys. But wait a second, I've, I've never been at a Tim uh, Okay. Um, so, uh, Homa. Yes. Yeah. What about you know what's happening? Where have you How seen me? Maybe on the CBC? <laughs> you make your voice go any higher. <laughs> Maybe. That's CBC. Maybe. That's CBC. Yeah. Woo! Oh. I don't even. Uh, who's. Okay. No. <laughs> um, you know what? I just it's, want to know were you responsible nice for the gazebo? <laughs> no. Um, but for uh, three weeks in uh, 1989, I was Scott Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're back to. Um, uh, who are we back to? Um, um, Steve. Now, I know you've been feeling bad. You've kind of had a hate on for the judges for not going for any of your amazing answers. Maybe this is true. Get back on the right track. This is true. What have you seen me in? I'm going to say we've seen you in your hometown of Winnipeg. Oh, that's right. wrong in so many ways, but let's see. <laughs> have you seen me in my hometown, Winnipeg? I wish my hometown was Winnipeg. Yes. I, 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 I like Winnipeg. I was born in Scotland. Here's the it thing. Was a, it, was it, was a wild, it was a wild guess. Was it? <laughs> answer. I'd, hate, I, I, I'd hate to see how you play tennis, buddy. Just like, um, <laughs> I think I was set up. All I've got to say, people, try Googling your host next time you have a fun <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't take that much time. It's really easy. <laughs> Uh, how many X's was that, by the way? Was that three? Three. three. Oh, okay. So um, some <sighs> of the uh, people here are my friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, let's see if they actually know where they've I, seen this. I've oh. seen a Red lot Green, of Corner Gas, The Campbells, Red Improv, Red Improv Red. Hell. Uh, Beethoven's Treasure Island. Mysteries? Which one was it? Oh, Royal Canadian Air Farce. <laughs> A uh, commercial uh, for charity, a charitable uh, crack up charitable comedy commercial. festival. Oh, on yeah, TV commercials. Yeah, yeah. she's the mayor. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, going stop to talking. You're, you... you're going down a rabbit hole. Convenience <laughs> one year. I'm thinking Murdoch Mysteries as well. Is that yeah, Murdoch, Murdoch Mysteries, Mysteries yeah. Private Eyes. Putting answers on the screen. Uh, they're rubbing it in. They're showing off well, now. Murdoch, Davis, just, you have I want to go with red green too, Patrick, just in case. Just you know, I'm just and I'm just saying maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, that's pushing. Well, I don't maybe. remember. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I know he was at the Winnipeg Comedy Festival. I know that, but he yeah, already said Winnipeg. So no. Smith and Smith. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was also on the Colgate Variety Hour. So please. <laughs> the Flintstones. Ed Sullivan. Go with the Flintstones. You should go with the Flintstones. <laughs> I'm not hearing any suggestions, people. I'm going to have to. I, improv, I need an answer. Royal, Royal Canadian Air Force or or Improv yes. Heaven and Hell. Uh, there's there's tons. I, uh, Beethoven's Treasure Tale. I'm all for it. Which one? <laughs> Beethoven's Treasure Tale. Oh, okay. Then let's uh, let's go with that. Murdoch uh, Mysteries. I won't even All right. 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 I think Patrick has what we call common sense. Uh, he went with Murdoch Mysteries. Is Murdoch Mysteries up there? Yeah. Oh, oh, well done. Dang it. And, uh, just to inform you, I was just nominated for an award. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what else have I been in? I'm interested to see. <laughs> Number five. Been in my kitchen. On Zoom for this game. Oh, Can't argue with that. Number seven. Colin who? On the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Were you? Sweet. Really? Yes, that's all be surprised, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I was there. And uh, number eight. I never was on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> never was. No, but thanks for bringing it up. 
Uh, um, well, that was a wonderful match. Uh, the comedians who were behind the entire match luckily um, studied call of mockery more than Carefor did and ended up winning 355 to 272. But of course, it doesn't really matter. Did you all have fun? Yes! Yes, yes and I, I, hopefully we uh, raised some money and did what we are uh, supposed to do. I just realized as I'm saying this, no one actually told me how to end this. <laughs> we would like to donate our points to Care For. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you all of you who have uh, donated. Uh, for those of you who may not know enough about Care For, please um, there's plenty of information out there on the internet. It's obviously a worthy organization. So please keep giving uh, uh, your money, of your time, anything you can spare. And, and I the want to thank everyone here for doing such a great job. And I'd like to mention the Zoomathon tomorrow night, carrying on for yeah. for the night yeah. two. Oh, and uh, will you see me there? I, I will in my mind. I see you all the time in my mind. <laughs> all right. Uh, I actually won't be there, but Patrick will be there. Uh, Taz will be there, I believe. It's going to be a, um, a fun night. So please, the fun isn't over. Keep supporting. Keep laughing. Oh, hey, John. How about a hand for the You're doing such a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer, John. Good answer. I want to thank everybody for a great time tonight, Colin, and all of the comics. But a wonderful evening. Lots of us feel uh, how much fun people are going to have. And uh, Robin and Trevor are going to try and give me a total for how much was donated uh, during the show tonight, and we'll put that on. So, But I can tell people if they want to stick around for a little bit, we're just going to run some credits, close the show, and then we're going to try and invite in attendees so that they can uh, just come in and say hi. But technically, I'm not sure if that will work, but we're going to try our damn best at it, okay?